Hi there, it's Kevin with Gunner Games. Here with another Bucko's House of Booty auction for our stay-at-home kit. So I'm going to be trying to do a lot of these. We are indefinitely going down into lockdown. After Thanksgiving, I think that it's going to pick up even more with the amount of lockdowns and infections and everything. Looking at the models, it looks like February, January is actually going to be the peak, meaning we haven't even reached the peak. So I think there's going to be some pretty draconian measures that are taking place. And so to try to combat that, I'm going to try to put up with these kits where you can you can play at home with your uh, siblings, with your girlfriend, with your wife, with your husband, whatever you're into. You can play with them. So this is going to be an interesting one that we're going to do their pre-release kit, but I'm going to add a little spice to this one with a pack of Keyforge. So this is the very first set of Keyforge Call of the Archons. So you can play something other than magic for once. And a pack of Sword and Shield Darkness of Blaze. So this is going to be a two-player uh, kit. So each player is going to have identical stuff. And this should be enough for playing all these pre-release kits. Let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways to play. So this should last you a good couple weeks of, of boredom of being locked down um, with the various games of Pokemon and Keyforge and now Magic to actually uh, play with your buddy. So that is player one. We're going to call us a Celestia player. So what I have for Celestia player is we have a green and a, a green on white rogue deck builder play mat. So this beautiful rogue deck builder play mat on a dragon shield mat. And then I put together this boulder. So we got a Celestia looking boulder, a green and emerald on frost of the boulder. These are still my favorite deck boxes. These are super solid. You can hear that knock. Beautiful looking uh, deck box. It's open like that. You throw your cards in there. Very well secured in these boulders. I love these boulders. They're still my favorite by far deck boxes for uh, collectible card games. I even use them for board games for the smaller version. So for the Celestia player, they get the Celestia, that's why I chose it, a Celestia Dragon's Maze uh, guild kit with the Simic on the back. So player Celestia gets that, as well as some green um, Matt Elite Guard 80s for uh, BCW. I like these. The only difference between these uh, these BCW 80s, these are what, what are considered the version one, is version two is a little more snug. And I actually kind of like these ones that aren't so snug. Like the, they have, these are like dragon, sh dragon shield size and the, their newer ones are like even snugger that they don't have as big of lips. I kind of like the bigger lips on these card sleeves. So I prefer version one over version two anyway. So we have some BCW 80 uh, green sleeves. Now, for the kits, what we're going to have is we're going to just go backwards with the pre-release kits that I have. So we have first of a Zenicar Rising pre-release pack. Um, and then before Zenicar Rising, we have Ikoria. So we have the Ikoria pre-release pack. And then we have a Core 2021 as well as a Theros. So you get the standard ones. They're in standard at the moment. The Theros Beyond Death pre-release pack. And all these will come with plenty of dice in them. And we also have a core set 2020. It's one of the other previous kits that we still have available. I do not have Throne of Eldraine's anymore. Um, I think that's the one we're missing from standard at the moment. Because what's legal and standard? This right now plus Throne? I think that's what's it. What's up. And so core set 2020 is going to have to be the other one. Now, if you actually do play this and send me pictures. So of course this is going to be going in our Buckles House of Booty on Discord. So all you have to be eligible to bid on stuff is just be a patron. And patron can be as little as $2 a month just to, to uh, get our Discord access. It has a just a wealth of knowledge. A lot of people are very um, in, uh, involved in the Magic the Other community, whether it be building decks, whether it be talking about the market. Our Discord is popping and uh, one patron explained to me they love our discord because it's it's got the perfect balance of people on it it's very active but it's not overloaded like what you see with other people's discords where you know it's just kind of a free-for-all and you, you you post something and then immediately it's 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 buried under a billion different spam so highly 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 suggest that even if you just want to bid on this you, you don't care about buying the the your allotted amount of items per month it's a good way to both support the channel support what we do here at conroe games slash rogue deck market and it's worth it it's just worth having that access to a community of like-minded people that you can get a lot of tricks and tips and advice and everyone there is awesome i love our discord i love the people who are there um yeah it's a really well managed and run discord in my opinion of course i'm a little bit biased here because it is my discord but i do like the people that we surround ourselves with and are involved there so this is what you get basically times two so that's player a is the celestia so let's just roll this out of the way and then we'll roll this in view here so the next one up is going to be the orzov 
player. So Orzov has a Orzov Celestia kit with a Rakdos. So Rakdos and Orzov. And we got the Orzov colors going for you this time. We have a boulder that's white on black. Beautiful, beautiful deck box here. White on black Orzov colors. Uh, of course, you get the Keyforge and the, the Pokemon. Uh, as well as the same mirrored uh, sets of stuff uh, with some black sleeves here. So again, this is everything you need. I, I highly encourage people to play with the products that they, they purchase from me. If you do play this and you do take a picture of it, I always send prize support if people do. So keep that in mind with the bidding. Uh, you, uh, you'll actually have the opportunity if you don't want to just flip this on eBay like again I have nothing problem with uh, I have n nothing against eBay flippers and stuff like that I think it's kind of a waste of time because eBay is so saturated with people willing to work for you know pennies on the dollar that's why I specifically don't do it uh, but if you are uh, wanting to play this there is a little bit more incentives after after you do play the games and send me screenshots of playing the game so uh, a lot of people have had a lot of fun with this pre-release kit. It's a great two-player. It doesn't have to be two-player. You can run with other players, but I've made this specifically to have a lot of time. You're going to get a lot of hours of play with these, these pre-release kits. I mean, you don't even really have to play pre-release kits versus pre-release kits. Maybe you can just mash them all together and try to build the best decks possible out of these. It's it's whatever you want to do. Just send me some pictures of, of having fun with the Magic Gathering. This is meant to be played. I want to bring Paper Magic back. I think that that's the beauty of Magic the Gathering gathering is the gathering is you know having actual paper cards to brew with and limitations with it arena is still a mess arena is just the same four decks over and over and over and then limited is weird too with the way that they do their limited software it's not magic this is magic this is exactly why we play the game there are better online games than magic the gathering in my opinion i think that that uh this is this is the beauty of magic the gathering is the paper aspect of playing with your buddies meeting new people eventually when rona goes away we can get back to that and do conventions and stuff like that but for now it's still uh, i have memories just so many memories as a kid playing on sundays with my brother um uh, you know playing some magic the gathering building tons of decks and that's still why i'm so nostalgic to this Magic the Gathering. So let's bring paper back. Hashtag bring paper back and enjoy these kits. Happy bidding. Go find them on the Buckos House of Booty on our Discord. Um, if you do join Patreon, just give me a, a, a friendly message. Uh, Patreon has been pretty terrible with notifications lately. And then I can give you access to the Discord and then you can see these bids. I'm going to try to do a bunch of these coming up in the next few months. I don't know if it will be uh, kits, but we'll have a lot of two-player ways of, of enjoying the game. Anyway, this has been Kevin with Gone Rogue Games. Happy bidding.